so today our topic is Euler's Phi function now this topic can be understood better if I give examples rather than formalist and one by one example okay so I will start with the example first and I will show you how to think and how to apply Euler's Phi function okay so example number one please uh, write it down if you are making notes so example one is find Phi of 30 so the very first question you have to ask yourself is what is this number is this number a non prime number or it is a prime number if it is a prime number then you can use the formula phi of a prime number is equal to p minus 1 okay so this 13 is a prime number correct and uh, the answer should be phi of 13 is equal to 13 minus 1 which is equal to 2 okay so this was the example one where we had the prime number now the question is what if uh, I have a non prime number okay so the example is find the value of phi of 10 so now this number is a non prime number okay whenever you have a non prime number you can split the number okay I can write 10 okay I can write 10 as phi into 2 so I have split them into the prime numbers correct I have converted this non prime into form of a prime numbers okay so you can say step number one conversion okay I have converted and now I can write 10 as phi into 2 now the second point is using the Euler's phi function property the property is phi of m cross n okay is equal to phi of m into phi of n okay so if this is the property I can write the above equation as phi of phi into phi of 2 now this uh, two values uh, can be found from the example one help okay this was example two please make a note this is example two in example one I have told you if you want to find phi of p the answer is p minus one okay so apply that uh, concept here answer is what phi minus one phi minus one into two minus one which is four into one the answer is four I hope you got the point so up till now we have studied uh, almost uh, two properties of uh, Euler's function the first property is if you want to find phi of p which is phi of a prime number then the answer is p minus 1 and if you have two number like if you have a non prime number you can write that in the product of prime number form correct and uh, if you have a phi of m into n then you can split it like phi of m into phi of n that was seen in example 2 okay so i hope you got the uh, points i will again write that property property number 1 and property number 2 here okay so phi of p is p minus 1 uh, property number 2 phi of m cross n is equal to phi of m into phi of n now comes one more point now this is example 3 very important example what if I have phi of 240 now how to find this value for that you have to convert this form 240 it's a non prime number correct you have to convert in the form of a prime numbers like product of prime numbers for that you have to do some division okay so let us do the division 240 I can divide it by 2 so 2 1s are 2 2s are 4 and then 0 okay then 2 2 6 are 12 then 0 2 3s are 6 then 0 2 uh, 1s are 2 then uh, it would be 10 so 2 5s are 10 now 2 is gone now this number can be divided by 5 so 5 3s are 15 and uh, this is 3 so 3 1s are 3 and you are done okay so this is how you have splitted your non prime into the products of prime so I can write I can club right I can club all this 2 and I can say it would be 2 to the power 4 okay then we have 5 then we have 3 so this form can be written as 5 of 2 to the, 2 to the power of 4 into 5 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 using the second property I can split the terms it, it would be 5 of 2 to the power 4 into 5 of 5 then 5 of 3 now there is a problem what to do with this term this term you don't know how to deal whereas you know how to deal with this term okay how to deal with this term use property 1 answer is 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 now the first term you have one more property 
okay so i will drop this old property and i will make some space for new property so the property number three the property number three is if you have phi of the prime number raised to some power okay which is e then the answer is p raised to e minus p raised to e minus one okay i repeat phi of the prime number raised to power which is p raised to e is equal to p raised to e minus p raised to e minus one so this is the term where the value of p value of p in this question is two and the power e is four so substitute this value here you will get 2 to uh, 2 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 3 and after the calculation the answer comes out to be 64 so this is example 3 a unique variety so i hope uh, the three examples are clear the first example was very simple phi of a prime number the second example was phi of a non prime number in the simple way okay in the simple calculation okay the third example was a little bit lengthy where you can see the number is big when the non prime number is big then you have to do this kind of calculation so three properties are clear now there is one mistake which would be example four okay so let me see how many students make that mistake or how many avoid that mistake okay so the example number four is here example number four is find pi of 49 what is the answer now here maximum student will do okay 49 it can be uh, written as 7 7s are 49 and 7 ones are okay so 2 times 7 so this term would be splitted as phi of 7 into 7 and i can use the property what was the property phi of n cross n is equal to phi of m into phi of n so i can split it phi of 7 into phi of 7 then i can use the next property the next property is phi of p is equal to p minus 1 so answer would be 7 minus 1 into 7 minus 1 it comes out to be uh, 6 into 6 which is 36 and this is absolutely wrong why it is wrong just uh, just think wait a second and think the mistake i have made here is i have uh, splitted the same prime number like 7 into 7 whereas i have told you you have to club the prime numbers if they are same 7 to the power 2 you have to write that form okay 7 to the power 2 which means it is of the form p to the power e and you made the mistake here 7 into 7 and then you use this formula this is also you have to take a special care this m and R, n are different m is not equal to n then only we can use this formula okay when m is not equal to n then only we can use this formula so this was the biggest mistake uh, students make in the exam so make sure you are not ma making that mistake okay so i will erase all this part because it's wrong okay you have understood that m should not be equal to n then only we can apply the formula so all this formula we cannot apply here which we did earlier okay so this is wrong so what we have to do is we have to club the common part you can see we have club 7 to the power 2 so i can write this now phi of 7 to the power 2 we can use the formula phi of p to the power e is equal to p to the power e minus p to the power e minus 1 so the answer is 7 raised to 2 minus 7 raised to 2 minus 1 the answer comes out to be 7 square minus 7 49 minus 7 so the answer is 42 i hope you got this point it was very simple if you know the right calculation so that's it for today i have covered four examples and the four examples are extremely important where you have studied the complete euler's formula okay i will write all the formula once again and i will give you one more note so that uh, you can apply that also in your exams okay so there are actually four formula the first formula is phi of p is equal to p minus 1. Second formula is phi of m cross n is equal to phi of m into phi of n. The next formula is phi of p to the power e is p to the power e minus p to the power e minus 1. And the fourth formula, it's unique. It's not used uh, in this example, but it's unique. The formula is phi of 1, okay, it's equal to 0. So question can be like, uh, tell me, this is the example find phi of uh, 1 raised to 10 okay so what is the answer so what should be the answer the answer is 0 
I hope you got this point. There is one homework question for you. The homework question is written here. Do comment the answer. Okay. Always comment the homework question. You have to find phi of 7, 7, 7. Yes. You have to find phi of 7, 7, 7. So do let me know in the comment section what should be the answer. That's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Take care. तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट